Hey guys, Tap Daddy here with a quick tutorial on how to MIDI map your MIDI controller in Ableton Live. Uh, I've tested this in Ableton Live 10, Live 9, and I'm sure it'll work similarly for previous versions. Today I'm going to be mapping some of the knobs on my MPC Studio to some of the functionality in Ableton Live 10. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So before we can start MIDI mapping, we first need to go to our Preferences. So we press Live and Preferences. And then we click on this MIDI tab. And here we'll see the inputs and outputs for your MIDI devices. So find the MIDI device that you want to map to and make sure that you toggle Remote on. This is going to allow us to start MIDI mapping using this button right here. So. If we click this, it'll highlight everything that we can toggle to MIDI map. So now that we have MIDI mapping enabled, let's go ahead and try it out. So for example, let's say I want to map this reverb breaker, which is on my drum track right here, to this knob right here on my MPC. So the way that we would do that is we would select this MIDI button, and then we will click on the reverb breaker, which highlights that a little bit. And now all you need to do is twist the knob that you want to map it to. And now you can see that this MIDI map has appeared on this left hand side. Now the reverb breaker is mapped to this knob. Let's go ahead and set up a few more mappings. So now I want to map this high knob on my EQ3 rack as well as this boxy fly knob on sample magic beat selection. So let's go to the MIDI button again. I'm going to select high. I'm going to twist the knob that I want to map that to. As you can see, another mapping has appeared. Let's do that again for boxy fly. We click that and then we twist the knob that we want to map it to and another mapping has appeared. Now I have three knobs tied to three different audio effects. Let's go ahead and test that out. 